Now what y'all just saw is called a saltwater canal. We're here on a place in Bridge City, Texas called Bailey's Road. Now, what happens is these saltwater canals tie into a intercoastal canal that ties into the Gulf of Mexico. The water here is called brackish water, meaning that it's mixed with salt and fresh water. This provides a very unique living environment for certain certain species of fish. Not only fish, but crabs. And for those of you that have never been crabbing, and I don't mean sleeping around with people without any type of protect, for protection, I'm talking about uh, taking you some string, like kite string, and you take you some chicken meat, or any kind of meat, anything, and just throw it out there, and this, the crab, you'll, you'll feel it grab the string, and start pulling on it. And you take that, and you take that string, and you pull it in just real slow, till you can see that crab and that piece of meat in the water, say just a few inches deep. And you, then you uh, take you a dip net, and reach out there and scoop the crab up, and you throw it into an ice chest. And the cool thing about crabs is you keep them alive for a long time, and some in an ice chest with a bunch of. Uh, fresh water you scoop out of the canal. Bring them home, boil them, have your crab boil. So these these salt water canals offer a very unique, uh, uh, how to say, uh, ecosystem. You have birds, fish, crabs, crawfish, all kind of stuff living around here. camping at whenever I was living he is about a mile straight that away along the edge of this marsh. This is what you call a just a saltwater marsh. And I used to go camping I'll be able to get through here without falling off. Some of these boards look kind of rotten. But I used to go camping and hunting on the, and trapping on the edge of this marsh. And trapping, oh man, talk about trapping. This is an excellent place for, to, for uh, raccoon, nutri rat, muskrat. Have yourself now, where we're at, looking down inside the water, it's only about two to three feet deep. You need yourself a boat with a shallow draw to it, some type of trolling motor, or a, uh, what's that thing called, a uh, uh, mud something. My brother, he does a lot of duck hunting back in here. Uh, airboat, play things like that to get around in here. If you get out on the, on the marsh grass, it's, it's just real clumpy. walkway right now, but it gives us a good bird's eye view. It's just, if you try to walk on the grass, it'd be real muddy, you'd sink down. <clears throat> so, these saltwater marshes, do not drink the water out of them because it's going to be brackish. You'll wind up with saltwater poisoning. They do provide a, like I said, a very unique and plentiful food supply. Minnow, uh, uh, as, as a few, just a few examples, minnows, perch, crabs, crawfish, muskrat, nutri rat, raccoon, ducks, deer, duck, duck season, duck hunting. There's a type of uh, marsh duck called a coot that lives out here. Just uh, if you have a cast net, there's all kind of little minnows and stuff that live inside of this water. You could cast your net out there. And scoop up the minnows and eat them like just boil them and eat them like sardines. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's all right. How did you catch? How'd you catch them? Off a chicken net. Chicken off of a net. Chicken net, yeah. Like that. Chicken net. Okay. Oh, net. Okay, I thought you said net. There are a couple more in here. What's the legal size right now? Five inches. Five inches. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. Just use some chicken necks and some string. Chicken necks and string. And scoop them out with a net. Okay. Kiss some seeds. Man. That's Got away? No, no you got him. He's small though. Yeah. I mean, measure. That's how you do it. Man, that's all right.